And we're back with another Pico CTF challenge. This time we're looking at login, which is a web exploitation task description. My dog's my dog sitter's brother made this website, but I can't get in. Can you help me? And we get a link. And uh, before we go there, I want to just note the author is Brownie in Motion, which I think is a fun little play on Brownie in Motion, which is the random jittering of a particle in a gas. So let's go to the site. And as always, we'll inspect the page see what we have going on here. We will expand everything out to look at it. And we can see we have a style sheet, we have some JavaScript, then we have this form, which is taking these different fields, a username and a password, and we can submit it. So not a ton there. So let's take a look. The most interesting thing immediately is this JavaScript that we have here, index.js. But let's look at the style sheet first, just be sure there's nothing in there. We've already seen the index. So let's try this. And unfortunately, pretty print has not been working for me. So what I'm going to do instead is, since this is all compressed into a single line, I'm going to pull this out and I'm going to open Visual Studio Code and I'll create a new file. I'll tell it it's JavaScript. And then I will paste this in. This is annoyingly hard to copy. There we go. And all I wanted to do was I want to be able to apply some formatting just to make this easier to read. So what we can see is we have a function and uh, don't worry, you don't even have to understand all this. You just have to understand enough. So we seem to be getting the form, which is what we looked at earlier, which is the username and password inputs. And then we add an event listener. So we listen for the submit event, which is what's going to happen when we hit submit. And we seem to be grabbing both the username and password and putting it into this R variable. And then we do this BTOA. Uh, I'm not sure what BTOA is, so I'm going to Google BTOA, Windows, BTOA, encode a string in base64. And yeah, let's, let's try that ourselves. So let's do something like BTOA, uh, ABC. And yeah, that looks like base64. OK, so what else are we doing? So we are doing a replace, and this is a regular expression, which is replacing all the times it finds an equal sign. So if we put equal into either of our values, we replace them. And the reason we're doing this is because base64 uses equals, so that would probably cause a problem. Then we're doing a return statement, and we have a, a ternary operation. And so these are kind of complicated, but essentially all it is is it's an if uh, a condition is true, then you do one thing, otherwise you do another. So let's say, um, let's define x equals abc. So if it's true, x will equal def in this simple example. Otherwise, it will equal uh, hij. So a ternary, uh, as it implies, has three components. So you have the definition of your conditional. So you have a, a test. So let's say if, if x equals abc. So this, the equivalent of this would be if we did something like x equals, uh, and then we had a condition, x equals abc. Well, if that's true, then we'll return def. Otherwise, we'll return hij. Oops. That's, that's the rough format of what's going on here. So we can see first, we're checking if t.i is not equal to this, then we say incorrect username. So this must be the username. And we can see up here, we grab the username from the input, and that becomes u. So I'd like to know what this is in base64. So let's take this over to rapid table. And let's plug that in. And it says it's admin. So that makes a lot of sense. So we'll plug in admin. So what would happen is if these are not equal, then this occurs. Otherwise, so we're in the else condition, and you can see we do another ternary. Now we check whether the password, t.p, which was defined up here, we grab it from the form and we put it in p. If it's not equal to this, then we say incorrect password. However, if it is, then we, we grab this password out. So let's find out what this value is, this password that is in base64. And we can see it's PicoCTF 
server, 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 server. So let's submit that. And it works. Hopefully that was helpful to you. If it was, you can help me out by liking, commenting, subscribing, hitting the bell. Thanks a lot. Bye.